Good morning everyone, I'm Joshua from Joshua and Tony's Home Estate Gardening. I'm going to give you a garden tour of everything that I've done with the mulch. So here we go. <coughs> I didn't do this side yet because I have different things germinating and these right here are all my bell peppers that I will be transplanting soon but this is what I've done with the mulch I planted some more Romano lettuce these here are purple whole peas ponytail palm mother-in-law tongue y'all know how that is I mulched all my backyard area right here where my flowers are. As you can see, I transplanted them a few days ago. They already came out of shock. I planted some more sunflowers so they can grow, so they can look like these right here. I, uh, ate the bok choy off of it the other day I had pulled the whole thing up but I decided to put it back in the ground so it's a little shock but it'll come back up and it'll give me more leaves this right here is my rainbow carrots as you can see they're looking beautiful this is what bok choy uh, blooms look like I figured I'd let them uh, bloom out so I can get seeds off of them Another bok choy there. The lettuces that I put in the containers last week, as you can see, they came out of shock. They're looking really well. My eggplants have came up. I had this over that like that, and I pulled it out this morning to see what it would look like, and bam. That one's still germinating. But uh, my other bok choy is uh, blooming as well. My collard greens are out of shock, so they're growing. I have some little chives in there. These here, what I'm going to do is, I have the caps for them. Yes, I drink them. They were really, really good. Jack Daniels is awesome. But uh, I'll put the cap back on. Pop a hole in it. And I'll put a piece of metal into the uh, container itself. And when it goes like that, it'll just drop out little by little. As you can see, I uh, put these out the other day. Whenever you have bad onions and they're about to be bad because they have uh, black mold in them or whatever and they're molded dying. If you put them on top of soil like this, as you can see, the greens, they'll get about this high. And you can cut them off and use them as your uh, onion chives. As you can see, this one's doing perfect. I, my carrots are still coming in. There's a couple that had passed on, I can see, but I can replace those. But the ones that uh, came up from shock are looking really really well I pulled this one this morning too it was stuck in there like that and I pulled it out as you can see it's germinated this is the color green that I planted in here the other day on my one video it's already came out of shock And each one of these, this used to be a, a closet shoe rack. I didn't need it anymore for a shoe rack, so I decided to put dirt in it. As you can see, I have bok choice in every one of them. And they'll grow perfectly right here. And you know how the bok choice are, they'll get big in each one. That would look cool as hell. My cherry tomato, it's coming out really well. It's high as it's growing there. As you can see, it's already got uh, 
tomatoes on it. My radishes, some of them are barely peeking out. This is tore down because uh, my dog ran through it, but I got to clean it out and rebuild it. But it's been housing some uh, peas, some tomatoes. Here's my other tomato that's going to be on the fence. As you can see, it has blooms. And these right here are zucchini. One, two, three, and then there's two crooknecks. One, two. I got to put mulch right here. What I did was uh, I built a frame. Put posts in the ground so whenever the uh, sunflowers grow up, they'll be locked into the middle. And it'll be like a wall. And once that happens, I'll take this on down and my sunflower wall is there. Over here, I've got more collard greens. And I transplanted a few weeks ago. I got them all the way around. I got to clean out all the uh, greenery. And I'm going to put mulch in it. This is what I did with the mulch. My cucumbers look a lot better since I put the mulch in. Yesterday I came out here and I trimmed up my uh, tomatoes because they still have good growth on them and they got uh, new limbs coming up on each one of them. So those will take control again. And I've had this for uh, two years. It's gave me a lot of cucumbers and a lot of tomatoes. Just by using a recycled fence and some recycled poles that I got for free. And the poles that uh, I didn't have, I went into the woods across the street with my chainsaw and I buzzed up a few posts like I did over there. Right here is the, the two rows of tomatoes, I mean not tomatoes, potatoes. And uh, they haven't came out of the ground yet, but they will here soon because I just planted them uh, last week, so probably about another month. And all this right here will be covered in with greenery from the uh, potatoes over there where I told you where I had the uh, bell peppers I'm gonna put uh, some bell peppers in here and then I'm gonna bring it all in here and I'll put uh, one two three four more bell peppers and they'll grow Right here, I got down the middle, they haven't uh, germinated yet, but they will be soon because I just did it uh, like four days, so it's like another 10 days till they come out of the ground. But I got some big gym uh, hot peppers. They're about as long as my arm. And I got tomatoes at the wazoo over here. As you can see, my uh, pumpkin plant, I planted it over there. And it's grown so much that I just let it ride up the trellis. And it actually has a few pumpkins on it as of right now. I see one, two, three, and there's two down there, so it's five all together. I can walk on the side because I only put it down the middle. These here are my bell pepper plants that I had from last year. And uh, they're still growing. I don't know why the cold didn't kill them. But they're beautiful. And it still has blooms on it as well coming out. As you can see, I'm bug friendly. 
So I got my uh, ladybugs in here. There we go. There's a beauty right there. Look at that. Y'all have seen my radishes, how big they get. I let the sunflower stay so it can bloom up. My fire roses got super big. And it's about to put off more blooms. But look at this. Have y'all ever seen a, a lemon plant that can do this? This small? I've got honeybees all over it. And a few weeks ago, I planted some uh, Brussels sprouts. I had planted two rows, but I was feeling froggy that day, so I came back out here after I made the video, and I made five rows. One, two, three, four, five of uh, Brussels sprouts. As you can see, the collard greens that I planted that same day, I did two rows. So uh, they came out of shock, and they're now growing. Almost finished this whole, uh, I built this the other day. The plant's in shock, but it's been getting water like crazy. It's still alive. But as you can see, the tomatoes that are on it, I will be picking them and eating them. I have a, another tomato plant over here. It just grew there as a volunteer, supposedly. I don't know how it got there, but I noticed it one day, so I decided, why not leave it alone? So I left it alone, as you can see. It produces beautiful tomatoes. I don't use pesticides, just on uh, deterrents. So, as you can see, mm. oh man, sorry, they're good. Mm. little Japanese plum tree it's coming back really good y'all seen the mulch the other day how high it was I've lowered it all out pretty much I'm gonna take this leftover hunk here and I'm gonna make a square here and then I'm gonna cover all that grass I'm going to move some of this stuff over here and I'm going to cover it all in mulch. I'll probably do that either later on today or tomorrow, but probably today. As you can see, tomatoes just grow wild here no matter what. The birds love them. But my carrots are doing wonderful. These are the Namaste carrots. There's the eggplants, they're getting a little bit bigger. Sages has got a little bit more, put some mulch in there. And from my surprise, I thought that uh, I put collard greens in here, but apparently I put bok choys. Or not bok choys, but uh, Brussels sprouts. So all this was gonna be edible. My orange tree is coming back. And here's the third one. This is the third bell pepper plant that I kept from last year. As you can see, it has blooms on it and little peppers on that little leaf. But the main show is right here. Look at this. Look at this. 
I don't know. I maybe ate, uh, good God, 20, 30 pounds of, uh, bell peppers since I started growing them. I haven't had to buy bell peppers in almost a year. And I can't remember the last time I bought a tomato. So, that says a lot about that. I'm going to get some onions soon and try that too. But as you can see, I got to mow the grass. But my garden's pushing them out. I have a couple more Japanese plums in there too. I have one there, one there, one over there. I put the roses because uh, I bought them for uh, Valentine's Day for my wife and I put them in there to see if they'll root. And it looks like they've taken so I'm going to come back later on today and I'm going to cut all the heads off. And then I'm going to watch the leaves grow on the sides. And once that happens, I'll put them to a new area and I'll have a rose garden for her. She loves her uh, sunflowers. I've said in my other videos, it was like four years ago, I didn't have money on Valentine's Day. So I pulled over on the side of the road and I picked her uh, four dozen of these. A big old vase full. And when they got done doing their thing, I brought them out here and threw them in the dirt over there. And it just started growing from there. So I picked them up from there and made a sunflower circle, which as you can see, I still have. My daughters came out here for me one time and they replaced every single one of them. So they're growing now. But she loves sunflowers. Tony loves them to death. So if she loves them, I'll make them for her. That's what us husbands do. But, uh, thank you for watching the video. Hope you like my garden tour. Enjoy your day. God bless. Remember, if you can grow it, you can eat it. Thank you.